Next, try this question number 2 on page 74. See children, in this question, again we have got the data. We have to construct a frequency distribution table, okay, for the data on weights. This data is regarding the weights of 20 students of a class. And uh, you can see that now there are 20 students weights are given, okay. And hardly any weight is getting repeated also. So we cannot write all the weights and then find the tally marks. What we will do? We will just fix certain groups. Like here in the question already it is given that make the groups of 30 to 35, 35 to 40 and so on. Okay. So first of all let us identify the smallest weight. Uh, the smallest one is 31 and the highest is 65 it means we have to get the class interval which includes 31 and 65 both okay so let us start the first class interval we can take 30 to 35 okay 31 will come at least in this interval now after 35 next will be what uh, we will start with this 35 and then 40. We have to keep adding 5. Okay. You will get the idea with this. Then 40 to 45 next class interval. The next will be 45 to 50. Then 50 to 55. Then 55 to 60. And then 60 to 65. Can we stop here? We need one more. Children, we know that uh, like this 35 will be included in the higher class interval. 35 will not be included from 30 to 35. Similarly, here also 60 to 65 we have got. 65 will not be included in this class interval. We need one more class interval 65 to 70. Okay. Now we will find the tally marks. We will move number by number like first number is 40 40 will come in this class interval from 40 to 45 so one tally will come here the next is 38 38 will come in this class interval next is 33 33 will come between 30 and 35 the next is 48 48 will come between 45 and 50 then we have got 60 60 will come from 60 to 65 okay we cannot take it here it will come in the higher class interval the next is 53 53 is here then 31 31 will come in this class interval then 46 will be here the next is 34 after 34 it is 36 then 49 will come between 45 and 50 then 41 after that 55 55 will come here okay in the higher interval then 49 again then we have got 65 next is 42 then 44 again in this interval only then 47 will make the group it is the fifth tally then 38 and 39 38 and 39 both will come here okay so now we will add the tallies 3 4 4 5 1 1 1 1 okay the table will come up to here and now let us add all the frequencies this frequency should add up up to 20 because there are 20 students so let us cross check 7 7 plus 4 11 11 plus 5 16 17 18 19 20 okay so we can assume our this frequency table is correct now when we have got the frequency table of the group data this group data can be represented on a graph with the help of histogram okay in the form of histogram so now i'll just show you how to represent it on the graph see on the graph we will get x axis and y axis okay on x axis we will mention the groups and on y axis number of students will come now see the groups are 
30 to 35, 35 to 40 like this. So we will mark in this way only. On the graph the first point, the point where the two axes meet is always 0. And then our first class interval starts from 30, the next with 35. Okay, see children when we will mark on the graph, we will first mark this lower class interval okay uh, lower class interval of the first interval then we will write 35 40 45 50 up to the last 70 like this from 30 to 35 40 up to 70 we have to plot the points on the graph so 35 then 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 now here we will plot number of students so since we have maximum five students so we can pl plot here like this one two this is three four and five okay now uh, for 30 to 35 there are how many students for 30 to 35 there are three then 4 and 4. Let us first make the graph for these 3. So, see how we will make children now the bars. First of all, look on this x-axis. You can see the uh, x-axis is divided into 5. Each unit is equal to 5. But the first gap is from 0 to 30. Okay, this is not equal to the other intervals. So, to show this, we can just show a zagged line. Okay, this zagged line shows that from 0 to 30 we have ignored and then we have divided x-axis equally as 5. Uh, this weight is given in kg. So, each unit shows 5 kg weight. Now, for 30 to 35, the frequency is 3. So, up to 3 we will plot and then with the help of scale we will draw the bar like this. Okay, this is the bar for 30 to 35. Then for 35 to 40, the frequency is 4. So, we will draw the bar up to 4. So, children you can see that automatically there is no gap between the bars. In the bar graph, we put the gap, equal gap between the bars. But in histogram, there is no gap between the bars. The first group is 30 to 35. The group of 30 to 35 has frequency 3. Then the next group is of 35 to 40. The group of 35 to 40 has the frequency of 4. Then the next group 40 to 45. Its frequency is also 4. So let us make bar up to 4 like this. Then for 45 to 50, the frequency is 5. So we will make the bar up to 5. Okay. And then you can see again. Okay. We have made up to 45 to 50. Then from 50 to 55, 55 to 60, all are having the frequency of 1, 1. So we will make the bars of 1, 1 for the remaining so from 50 to 55 this is then for 55 to 60 also frequency is 1 so like this we will make the histogram for 65 to 70 also it is 1 and then you can just uh, explain the scales what scale we have taken we have taken on x axis 1 unit is equal to 5 kg and on y axis we have taken 1 unit equal to 1 student. Whenever you make any graph children make sure you explain the scale and you label the scales like on the x axis we are mentioning weight so weight should be written on y axis number of students so that should be written here.